So today we're going to look at Laplace transforms. So what it means is if I have a function that is in the time domain f of t, if I use my Laplace transforms, so it's going to transform it to a function in the frequency domain, which is in, denoted by f of uppercase f s. And if I have a value or a function in the frequency domain, I can use my inverse Laplace transforms to get the function in time domain. So basically what it means is if I have a certain function in my time domain, which is too complex to work on, to do any operations on, I am just going to use my Laplace transform. And then once all the operations are done, I'm going to bring it back to my time domain. So this is mainly used to overcome difficult equations or solving difficult equations, whatever you're going to call it. Okay, so here is my expression for finding the Laplace transform. So this is my frequency domain signal and this is my time domain signal so i start off by having a time domain signal so this is my time domain signal i start off by having the time domain signal and then i integrate it with this term e to the power of minus st with respect to time from zero to infinity and that way i get my function in the frequency domain right here so we go from um Sorry, we go from time domain to frequency domain in Laplace transforms. And in inverse Laplace transforms, so we have our function in the frequency domain. So this is frequency domain signal. We multiply it by e to the power of st and d integrated from minus infinity to infinity. So this should be like that. And then also multiplied by 1 over 2 pi j to get the function in time domain. So remember, to get, go from time domain to frequency domain, use Laplace transforms. And to go from frequency domain to time domain, we use inverse Laplace transforms. So what is this whole time domain and frequency domain? Let's look into that. So I'm going to say this is time domain. And so in time domain, we have what I'm denoting is that we have basically time t and a function f of t. So this function is varying with time. So it can be something like a signal. So this signal is varying with time. And my x-axis is the time and the y value is the value of the function. Now, if I have another axis known as frequency domain. So here there is no time. Instead there is angular frequency omega and there is no f of t. Instead there is f of s. So if I have a function like here and then there is no time in this domain. There is only frequency. So to convert this I would use Laplace transform and take each and every single point on this and get somewhat simpler like this. I'm not saying this is exactly the accurate version uh, transform of this, but this is what we are looking at. So here we are dealing with angular frequency and here we are doing dealing with time. And now why are we interchanging? Why are we interchanging is the big question. So let us say you have a certain function f of t equals e per minus a t in the time domain. So to get it in the frequency domain, you will see what I mean is I'm going to do the Laplace transform of it. So I would integrate this e to the power of minus a t times e to the power of minus s t dt. And that would give me 0 to infinity integral of e to the power of minus t 
s plus a common dt and on solving this i would get 1 over s plus a so here i had a function in the time domain e to the power of minus a t in the time domain so upon doing laplace transform i got 1 over s plus a in the frequency domain now which one do you think is much simpler to do operations on my simplicity here would be only so much but my simplicity here would be higher to do operations So let's plot these two signals. So in time domain, if you plot e to the power of minus at, it would look something like this. And in the frequency domain, the same signal if you plot, we have increasing s. So we have s, which increases like this. And there's a function f of s f of s is 1 over s plus a so as s increases the function decreases linear it's pretty much linear now. so this is time domain and this is frequency domain so we are just converting it we're not changing the value we're converting it from one domain to another domain without changing its value and this is all for simple this one reason simplicity of operations now we're going to get into problems in the next video so stay tuned for that